Welcome to Tax 1099. All right, so today let's take a look at the Excel import. New dashboard, log in, go to import, and Excel spreadsheet. We're going to use an NEC. Click on the form you desire. Accept the cookies again. Template was updated on November the 1st, 2023. I have downloaded it and I've just downloaded a new one. So we get the Excel spreadsheet template. Click here, CSV, click here. In the interest of time, I've already done so and put in my information. You can see here these red fields are required. This will be the same across forms. When you see a red field that's required, there may also be some other fields that you'll have to enter regardless, such as for, in this case, the NEC, box one, non-employee compensation. Some state tax information. These are a couple of items, client ID, recipient client ID, group ID that your Excel import will require if you're an enterprise account and if you've selected that. I am and I have. Okay, second 10, email receipt language. So. Save all this. This is NEC Oregon Excel test. So we'll go back to here, select the file. Hopefully it's going to be in my documents as NEC Oregon Excel test. Let's try that. We're going to use 2023. Matching fields, everything looks good. Now here, I see all the dots being green. Here's my payer selected from the dropdown. That's who I want. Here are the different items under the recipient. That's how I want it. It all looks good. So we'll go select them all, go to the next page. One of one records uploaded successfully. There we go. And that is, oh, one of these other bigger ones probably. All right, there you have it. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.